So, I was playing League of Legends the other day because, as you all know, I FUCKING ADDICTED! SO I CAN'T QUIT! That's right. And for some reason, I remembered how terrible it used to be playing this game on my old single-core laptop. Then, this thought occurred. This game is so old, I wonder what the minimum requirements are to even run League. One Google search later, and I was floored. An i3 530, NVIDIA 9600 GT, only 2 gigabytes of RAM? Surely this can't be true. My 13700K struggles to get over 200 FPS. Maybe it's good for like 30 FPS? Or, you know, maybe the requirements haven't been updated. How, how much would a rig like this actually cost anyway? I went and checked out eBay. i3-530 for 5 bucks. That is unbelievably cheap. 9600 GT? Hmm. Well, for $30, I'm sure I could get something that performs a little better. But, you know, it's still pretty cheap and it's an EVGA model. So, add that to cart as well. A motherboard for 45 bucks, and I have some old RAM laying around. You know what? Screw it. Let's try this thing out. Alright guys, I went ahead and did it. Let's find out, can you actually play League of Legends with the minimum requirements? I call this the LOL Minimum Spec PC Build. As I was waiting for my parts to come in, I decided to do some research on these components and oh my god. The 9600 GT came out in 2008 and only has 512 megabytes of VRAM. The i3-530 came out in 2010 and it's just a dual core processor. You know, I really am wondering if this stuff is even going to boot up. Three days later. Finally, we have all our parts in, and honestly, it's all in pretty good condition. I am suspicious of the thermal paste being okay in our 9600 GT, but let's just get this all put together and see if we even get a post. Shout out to the seller of this motherboard, by the way. He tossed in four 2GB sticks of DDR3 RAM, a stock cooler, and an i5-530 for free, so I mean, that was pretty cool. I also discovered that the 9600 GT only uses DVI ports, so I guess I'm going to have to pull out an old monitor to get some video out on this card. <coughs> Installing the CPU was pretty simple, same as any other platform. We put some thermal glizzy down, even though it's probably completely overkill snapped on the stock cooler, and we slotted in our one stick of 2GB DDR3 memory, then proceeded to install our 9600 GT. Outside of hooking up our power supply, that's all we really need to do. Fingers crossed everyone, let's see if this works. Oh. Shit. Oh my god, it actually... It actually fucking turned on. That's right! First try it booted straight into our BIOS. And man, it's been a long time since I've seen an outdated BIOS like this. I kind of forgot how to even navigate it, to be honest. But, once I got my bearings straight, it was time for the next big test. Will Windows 10 install on this old system? I did have a backup plan of using Windows 8 instead if for some reason Windows 10 isn't compatible with this old hardware, but if Windows 10 will work, I think that would be just great.
opening that Windows 10. Ends up being okay. <laughs> God, this, all this shit is so loud. As it turns out, everything installed just fine and we are in Windows 10. Honestly, this is going much smoother than I expected. The last thing to do is to install League of Legends and then find the most up-to-date 9600 GT driver available. And wouldn't you know, League of Legends also installed just fine. And even though the client was pretty laggy, it was still quite usable. If you aren't a League player, the client is pretty notoriously terrible anyway, so even nice systems can be laggy. Hopefully we load into game. What? No way are we getting over 60 FPS in this shit. Right now. <laughs> Wait. We're getting like 90 FPS. I mean, we're just in fountain right now, but holy shit. I am absolutely floored. Over 90 FPS while sitting in the fountain is totally insane. I then decided to put all the settings to low to see if it would improve my FPS a little more, and it slightly did. But what about some actual gameplay? I mean, this doesn't feel great. Like, I kind of wonder what the frame times are like. Go. I mean, like, the FPS is just sitting at, like, 80 the whole time. I mean, I'm playing on Wi-Fi, so some of this might be, like, a little bit of lag. But, like, I'm kind of impressed. I'm actually really fucking impressed that this thing isn't, like, just dogging. I'm gonna like put some more focus on like the FPS counter in the corner here. Oh, I might die. Whoa. There, we'll put some more focus on the FPS counter here. And then we'll keep fighting and then we'll analyze. It overall stays above 60 FPS almost the entire time, but as I was describing earlier, it does feel like the 1% lows or frame times might be pretty poor as I was experiencing some stutteriness. Hopefully adding in two 4GB sticks will help us out with that. Wow, we're seeing some pretty instant improvement. We got one... 30 something in the base on the lowest settings but I feel like I remember it being at like 100 FPS in the base before 2 as the game started so we're gonna have to see if that keeps up but and I'm gonna be honest with you this already kind of feels better like I'm not as stuttery. So our FPS has started to go down a little bit. I think I'm gonna zoom in on it like I did before so that we can get a better and get a better look at the frame rate. I'm sure some of you are gonna be like, why not run uh what's it called? Uh oh Oh, we got a pretty big dip there. Really in Seoul in particular, probably is tanking the FPS because I really in Seoul actually fucks a lot of shit. Um, but there's particles. So I actually don't want to knock. I feel like I have to say that it's performing quite a bit better with the extra, the extra RAM. Even though, it, like, you can just see the FPS is, like, 
He'll put his, like, gravity thing in, and it, it just, like, the FPS just takes a fucking dumper -ooski. Which I didn't have to have that visual effect in previously. Plus, I, I can just tell that the game's less stuttery in general. Um, I'm, like, super used to, like, 144 hertz, so this is, like... Pretty ghetto setup, but honestly, if you're like just looking to just looking to get by this, this like works surprisingly well for like what I spent like 20 bucks or something. Now that we have eight gigabytes of RAM, honestly, a really nice improvement here and a genuinely impressive performance overall. I guess you really can run League on almost a potato. But, just for fun, let's put the system through a stress test and see how stable it is. So here we are running Cinebench and the Heaven Benchmark, and surprisingly the stock cooler and old 9600 GT are holding up just fine. I was expecting some thermal throttling or a potential crash, but it sat here for a good 10 minutes without any issues. So the system is even quite stable on top of that. Alright guys, it's time for the conclusion. Is League's minimum specs accurate? I would say by a landslide, yes. I am not sure if you could actually get much worse without taking a really big hit to performance, but this setup gets an almost perfect 60 FPS average. You know, it's almost like Riot Games must have a few systems like this laying around, so when they make changes to the game, they make sure this minimum requirement still works all these years later. It's genuinely really impressive. Now, would I recommend doing this? I mean, honestly, I would probably get a different GPU. There are more powerful cards for a similar price, but for the steel I got this motherboard and CPU for, if you are really, really broke and desperate for a working system to play League of Legends on, I mean, this for sure works really well. Way better than I expected. I overall spent only $93.02 on eBay, and I'm not including the power supply, RAM, or SSD into that cost, but even if you add those in, you're building a computer for less than $150 that can play League at a good frame rate. Don't get me wrong, you could totally go deal hunting too, and probably put together a computer like this for even cheaper than that, but that's just me spending extra on trusted listings and not doing a whole lot of searching in all honesty. With all that being said guys, I really hope you liked the video today. It was a lot of fun putting together and testing out this build. Depending on how this video goes, the minimum spec PC might come back in a future video. You never know. Once again, thanks for watching guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I hope y'all have a fantastic day.